Background ambience is a key component of creating full sounding mixes for film and television projects. It's especially important to edit in good ambience because during production shooting, everyone tries to isolate the dialogue as much as possible from other background noise. So it's really essential to edit in good ambiences to create full sounding environments, smooth out issues with dialogue, and really it's the first sound design element on which to build on. In this video, I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to work with ambience and how to edit it effectively. I'm Tom Effinger and I run my own audio post-production facility in New York City. All right, let me get on the computer and I'll demonstrate. Background ambience really does two important jobs. Provides a bed of ambient tone or ambience that can smooth out the dialogue and then also can provide a rich design element. So the first one, it's important to listen to whatever the tone is doing in the dialogue and to try to pick at least one layer of ambience that matches the background tone of the dialogue as close as possible. You can put that in and because the dialogue is going to have these slight shifts even after you've smoothed it out in editing, that background tone or ambient tone can really help to smooth out the track. Hopefully you won't have to use a lot of it, the less the better, but it's an important element. Of course the second important thing for ambience is that it provides a whole opportunity to create richness and really enhance the environment of any given scene. So first of all, you're going to have realistic or, or visual cues. So you're looking at a park and you see trees blowing in the wind. So adding wind, adding leaves and trees blowing, adding a, a local city environment, those are all going to help. Then you can also add elements that are more design related, like if you put children off to the side and they're laughing and running around and playing, you're going to get that kind of emotional feel from the scene. If you put uh, a group of men arguing at a park bench on the other side of the park, you're going to have a different feeling to that scene. So ambience can be really important in providing an emotional direction for the scene. So in terms of editing in the ambience, let me show you a couple of quick tips and tricks. So first of all, we like to put markers at the beginning and the end of every scene cut or on every scene cut. So we have a marker here where the scene changes and then we have another one at the end. This is also helpful because other elements, whether it be dialogue or foley or other sound effects tracks should all cut at the same time when entering a scene or leaving a scene. So having markers and having everything cut at the same time when going in and out of scenes gives you clean transitions. So as you can see these ambience tracks are cut from the beginning of the scene to the end of the scene. So let's say I want to add a new one. I'm going to pull one out from my regions list. This one is some additional traffic a traffic layer to go on top of these other two. So once I've pulled that out, as long as it's long enough, I can highlight the one below and then use the selector tool, shift click on the one above, and then by hitting Command T for trim, I can have it match exactly the in and out of the previous ambience clip. Now if I provide the same crossfade, tab to the end, Another crossfade, there it is. Now I've got a new ambience track all ready to go. So once you've edited in another one of the ambience clips, you might want to take a look. It looks like this one is quite a bit louder than the other two. So this is a good opportunity to use your clip gain to go in and make that about even with the other tracks. Give it a relative volume that'll be easier to work with later. Okay. There you go. Background ambience is so important. It really helps to smooth out any issues with the dialogue tone and also just creates much richer and more interesting sounding environments. I've heard people say that the project even seems to play quicker once you've added in all that detail. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed this video. See you on the next one.